Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are on page 77, and our objective today is, today I will find factor pairs for whole, oops, sorry, my whole's kind of sloppy there, W-H-O-L-E, I'll even rewrite it up here neater for you. Whole numbers and determine if they are prime or composite. That is quite an objective today. So let's look at that again. Today I will find factor pairs for whole numbers and determine if they are prime or composite. Okay, so let's look at our vocabulary and our steps today. Our first vocabulary word is multiple. The product of a number and any other whole number. Okay, so Multiple, if we're looking, is like a synonym of the word product. So it says multiple or product, and we still have our factors, the numbers that have been multiplied together. Okay, factor pairs, remember yesterday we did those factor tables, are two numbers or factors that produce a product or multiple when multiplied. So these factor pairs, one pair is one times 24, 2 and 12 is a factor pair, 3 and 8 is a factor pair for 24, and 4 and 6 a factor pair. Okay, now yesterday in the video you saw that I got to that crazy number 31 and it just kept going on and on. You could refer back to this, it's a really nice one when you get a really long one, okay? When you get a really long one, it's really nice to have this. Okay, so let's look at our steps. Our first step says write the multiple which is just the product, remember? So multiple slash product. And then it says begin with one and work systematically to find factors that equal the number. Okay, when we did these factor tables yesterday, I added two rules to them. Remember the first rule is don't skip any numbers. We don't skip any numbers on paper because sometimes then we make mistakes. Our other rule for these factor tables are stop when you have a repeat. So stop when you have a repeat. I know that they're not doing that in their example, but those two things, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you will keep you from making lots of silly mistakes. Okay, and it only takes a few extra seconds. Okay, then it says write the pairs. So these are our pairs. One and 24 are factor pairs for 24. Two and 12, three and eight and four and six. So then we're gonna write them. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and show you mine of what this looks like. If you want to set your pencil down and just watch for a second. Here is my first problem, and it says, find the factor pairs for 24. So if I follow my steps, they don't give me a lot of room to work, but I'm going to use up here. I have 24, and now I'm going to make that factor table. And my factor table, I'm not going to um, skip any numbers, and I'm going to stop when I have a repeat. So I have 1 times 24. 2 times what will give me 24? 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, 5 times nothing because this would have to be a 5 or a 0, and 6 times, oh, I have a repeat, so I can stop. Okay, so there's my factor pairs. So my factor pairs are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 4 and 6. And I know this is the same one that our book gave in our steps, but we're still going to work it out. 
Okay, now my question says find two composite numbers that would make the equation true. So they want what times what would make the equation true, but they want them to be composite. So let's look at my examples. One is not a composite number. It's not prime either. Three is not a prime or a composite number. I'm sorry, three is not a composite number, it's a prime number, because I only can use one and three. Hmm, there's one here that seems to throw people off, because it looks like I have two choices. Two tricks people, because it's an even number, but two is prime, because the only way I can get two is one times two. So that's also prime. So what's my only choice that's composite? Four times six. So that is my answer for that one. Okay, let's look at my next one. It says, find the factor pairs for 39. 39 is one times 39, two times no, because it's not odd, three times what? Mm, this one sometimes people get thrown off. Three times 13, yes. Because 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 3 is 9. So that gives me 39. 4 times nothing. 5 times nothing. 6 times nothing. 7 doesn't work. 8, nope, because 8 times 5 is 40. So that doesn't work. 9, Nope, because 9 times 4 is 36, but 9 times 5 is 45. 10 definitely doesn't work. 11, no, because 11 times 3 would be 33, and 11 times 4 is 44. 12, no, because 12 times 3 is 36, and 12 times 4 is 48. And finally, I have a repeat, 13 and 13. So I can stop. Whew, that took forever. Okay, so what are my factor pairs? 1 and 39 and 3 and 13 are my factor pairs. Okay, my question says find two prime numbers that would make this equation true. Blank times blank equals 39. Well, let's look at my choices here. 39 is not prime because we have four factors for it. And one's not prime, but three is prime and 13. So our choice is three times 13 equals 39. And those are my two prime numbers. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is what we are gonna be trying. So please grab your pencil and turn to page 78 with me. And here is our first problem. It says, find the factor pairs for 36. Okay, ready? So for 36, and you might wanna come up here if you have some room, 36. Okay, so we always start with one. One times 36, two times, ooh, this is a tricky one. I know it has to work because 36 is even. So I know two fits into it. So let's think, two times 15 is 30, two times 16 is 32, two times 17 is 34, so it's 18. That one was a little tricky. Three times 12, because remember I have to keep trying, four times what? Four times nine, five times what? Mm, five doesn't work if the ones place isn't a five or a zero. Six times what? six times six, oh, and I have a repeat, so I get to stop. Okay, so what are our factor pairs? Our factor pairs are one and 36, two and 18, three and 12, four and nine, and six and six. Okay, now our question says find two composite numbers that would make this true. Two composite numbers. So let's look at our choices. One is not composite, because one's not prime or composite. Two is prime, because only one times two works. Three is prime, 
because only one times three works. Mm. Four is not prime because one times four or two times two. And nine is not prime because we have one times nine or three times three. But six isn't prime either, because we could do one times six or two times three. So both of those have only composite numbers. So for here, we could have had four times nine or six times six, because all of those are only composite numbers. Okay, let's look at our next one. Our next one says, find the factor pairs for 22. Okay, ready? One times 22, I almost gave the next one. Two times 11, three times nothing, because three times seven is 21, but three times eight is 24. Four times hmm, nothing, because four times five is 20, and four times six is 24. Five, nope, because look at the ones place. Six, nope, because six times three is 18 and six times four is 24. Seven, nope. Eight, nope. Nine, nope. 10, definitely no. And 11, whew, finally, I have a repeat, which tells me I can stop. Okay, so what are our factor pairs? We have one and 22 and two and 11. Okay, our question says find two prime numbers. Two prime numbers. Okay, so let's look at our choices. One is not prime or composite, so that's not gonna work. Two is prime, because it's only one times two, and 11 is prime, because it's only one times 11. So our answer has to be two times 11 equals 22. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you have a couple of these to try on your own. Have a great afternoon.